Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss hill climbing algorithm in artificial intelligence with a simple solved numerical example. Before we proceed with uh, the hill climbing algorithm, first we will try to understand the problem definition here. In this case, uh, I will consider the initial state as uh, this one where we have uh, four blocks namely A, B, C, D. They have been placed something like this. And uh, this is the goal state. Uh, in this case, so we have to move from this uh, initial state to goal state. So that is what the main uh, uh, goal in this case. And uh, we have been given an heuristic function that is uh, h of x, which is equivalent to plus one for all the blocks in the support structure, they, if they are placed correctly. For example, uh, uh, with respect to goal state, if a particular block is uh, placed correctly in the support structure, then it will be given uh, the plus one. If it is not been placed correctly, then it will be given minus one over here. Now, if you look at this particular goal state, of course, goal state, uh, all the blocks will be placed correctly. So, A is uh, placed uh, below this particular A, we don't have anything. The meaning of this one is A does not have any support structure. So, for this one, we will be having zero here. And uh, when it comes to this particular one, that is uh, B, uh, for this particular B, uh, there is a support structure of uh, block A that is placed correctly. So, we will get plus one in this case. And when it comes to C, below C we have two blocks in the support structure, both of them are placed correctly, so we will get two here. And below D we have three uh, blocks in the support structure, all of them are placed correctly, so the total value in this particular case will become 6. Now coming back to this initial state, if you look at this particular B, below B we don't have anything. That is, That means that the value of B will become 0 here. But when it comes to C, below C we have B. But B is not placed correctly, that is uh, B should be present on the top of A, but it is not present here. So we will be having minus 1 for this one. That is a heuristic value because it is not been placed correctly here. When it comes to D, below D we have two blocks and both of them are not placed correctly. So it will be equal to minus 2 and below A we have three blocks. None of them are placed correctly because all of these should be placed on the top of A. None of them are placed on the top of A. So the heuristic value of this particular thing will become minus 3 and the total value is equal to minus 6. So this is what is given to us. We have to start from this particular initial state and then we need to go to this particular goal state by applying this particular hill climbing algorithm. So that is what the main uh, aim of this particular uh, example. Now I will try to discuss uh, the hill climbing algorithm and then we will apply hill climbing algorithm to go from here to here. So that is what the uh, thing we will do here. Now, the very first uh, step in hill climbing algorithm is we need to evaluate the initial state. So what is the initial state given to us? So this is the initial state given to us. If it is a goal state, then we need to return it and then uh, uh, we need to wind up this particular algorithm because we have already reached the goal state. So we need to stop here. Otherwise, that is uh, the initial state is not a goal state. We need to continue with this initial state as a current state. So what we do here is that this one will be marked as a current state and then we will start from here onwards. So that is what the first step is all about. Now the second step says is we need to continue the, these two steps that is A and B until the solution is found. That is nothing but what we have reached the goal state or until there is no new operator to be applied in the current state. So this is the current state right now. Uh, either we need to reach this particular goal state or there are no operator to be applied in this particular current state we have to repeat these two steps that is a and then we need to repeat b here so in this case uh, this is the current state this is not a goal state that's the first and foremost thing and we have an operator that is a can be brought on the top of this particular ground so we can apply one operator so uh, there is an operator the meaning is second condition is also not satisfied here so because of that we will try to apply a and b on the top of this particular thing so what we do here we will select an operator that has not been applied to the current state. So we may have to select one operator that is not been applied to the current state. That's the first thing we need to do and apply that particular uh, operator to produce the new state. So I will show it over here. In this particular case, this is the current state. From this particular current state, we can apply this particular operator. That is, we will bring this particular block A on the ground and then uh, this will become your new state here this will become a new state in this case. Now when you get this particular new state what we have to do that is written here. We need to evaluate that particular new state. That is if this particular new state is the goal state then return it and then quit. 
so now we will evaluate it whether this particular new state is a goal state so goal state looks something like this and it is not a goal state here because it is not a goal state this particular condition is not satisfied if it is not a goal state but it is better than the current state what is the current state here so this is the current state and this is the new state of course it is not a goal state so now we need to see whether it is better than the current state so how to see that particular thing we have to calculate this particular heuristic value how to calculate it uh, b is present at this particular stage and uh, below b we don't have anything so the uh, heuristic value is equal to 0 for a also the heuristic value is 0 because below a we don't have anything the meaning is this is also does not have any support structure here but when it comes to c below c we have b that is a support structure and b is not placed correctly because b should be present on the top of that particular a so that's the reason it is equal to minus 1 here when it comes to the next one d below d we have two uh, blocks none of them are placed correctly so it is equal to minus 2 here if i add all these things we will get minus 3 here now what is the algorithm says if uh, the new state is not a goal state but it is better than the current state of course the better it is better than the current state because the current state value is equal to minus 6 and the new state value is equal to minus 3 here because it is better than this one this will become your current state now this will become what current state and then from here onwards we will try to apply another operators over here so that is what actually it says over here if it is not better than the current state what we need to do we should not modify this one this will remain the current state and then we need to continue over there now what we do this is the current state now uh, we will go back to this particular loop again we will select one operator that has not been applied to the current state so we can do uh, over here something like this we will bring this particular d on the top of this particular ground so that is what i have done over here and this will become your new state now now this is a new state we will evaluate it that is uh, whether it is a goal state or not of course it is not a goal state because it is not a goal state what we need to do here is uh, we need to check whether this new state is better than the current state so that can be done something like this one all three are present on the ground and they don't have any support structure so that's the reason the value is equal to zero here but for c the below c we have b the b is not placed correctly so the value of this one is minus one so the heuristic value of this particular state is minus one which is better than the current state because of that particular thing this new state will become your current state here now we need to start from here again we try to apply one of the operator uh, randomly now i will put this particular c on the top of this particular ground we will get this particular thing as a new state here now this new state has the heuristic value zero because all of them are present on the ground none of them are present at the uh, below these things the meaning is there is no support structure over here now uh, once you evaluate it it is not a goal state and its heuristic value is zero which is better than the current state so now this will become the current state here and then we will make this one as a current state now once this will become current state again we will apply one of the operator what we do now we will bring this particular b and then we will place on the top of this particular a it looks something like this this is your new state now now the new state we need to evaluate of course this is not a goal state because it is not a goal state we will see whether it is better than the previous state or you can say that the current state now the heuristic value of this one is a d c will have zero because uh, there is no su support structure for them for b the value is plus one the reason is very simple below b we have a and a is placed correctly here so that's the reason it is plus one so the entire state's heuristic value is equal to one which is better than zero so this current state will move here and this will become your new current state now now once you get this current state we will try to apply one more operator we will bring this particular c on the top of this particular b this is how the new state will look like now this new state uh, we will evaluate of course it is not a goal state because it is not a goal state we will check whether it is better than the current state a and b will be a and d will be having zero as the values for b the value is plus one because b's support structure that is a is correctly placed <coughs> and uh, this particular c's support structure that is a and b both of them are correctly placed so we will be having the value two here and if i add these two things we will get plus three which is better than the previous one that is plus one so because of that we will make this one as the current state now now once you get this one as a current state we will move this particular d on the top of this particular c that is the operator we have selected because of that we will get this one as a new state here 
and this new state once you evaluate it that is what has been written in this particular case this new state is actually the goal state over here because it is a goal state so what we do over here is we will uh, return this particular state and then we will quit this particular algorithm over here so i hope uh, the concept of uh, hill climbing algorithm is clear if you like this video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching